to my workshop. Today we're going to continue setting up Mac 3 with my 6090 CNC router. Um, now, Mac 3 is not a plug and play uh, program. You do have to tune or set up Mac 3 program to suit your individual machine. So we're going to go through that process. Okay, right to now. begin um, setting up um, Mac 3. Now, I've already actually done this, um, but you go into the ports and pins. I think you can pick that out. Yeah. And um, first of all, you select port number one, which is your printer port and uh, you put your port address in here which is um, normally uh, is 378 um, Mac 3 will f you don't have to actually put in any other figures than 378 Mac 3 will put any other digits in for you uh, and you tick to enable that port uh, unless you have another port as well, then you enable that. Now the first thing to do is the, the motor outputs. So with the particular breakout board that I have, uh, X is operational uh, step and um, direction. Uh, pin number four, pin number five, Y is pin number six, pin number seven, and Z is pin number eight and pin number nine. Now then, Having en enabled the motors, uh, now you have to motor tune. Now I've already done this for mine. Um, and in actual fact, this is pretty standard with Mac 3. Um, you have, what they recommend actually is to steps per uh, for a start off, uh, if you put 2,000 steps in there, now that is steps per millimeter, I understand. Um, and I have just really left this at the um, manufacturer's settings, as in Mac 3, um, and it's been pretty good for my machine. Uh, the motors sound as though they're working perfectly, and um, I'm happy with that. So uh, obviously this is the velocity um, and this is the acceleration. Uh, I'm not going to uh, alter things uh, but um, because I know my machine, I'm happy w with my machine. But th this is the, the, uh, the window then that you can alter those. Um, I will fine-tune this uh, later on and it will probably be in the next video where I actually measure uh, from point A to point B um, and let the axes travel that amount and accurately measure it and um, this is uh, actually Mac 3 will automatically uh, alter this figure in here to coincide with the um, accuracy that the axes is actually working but we'll, we'll do that again. All we're interested in at the moment is uh, getting the motors uh, operating and um, in my case with this machine uh, to get the uh, table size set up and the soft limits uh, because I am going to be running just on soft limits because of the individual problem I have with um, the limit switches. Okay, so we'll get out of that. We're at the stage now where we need to calibrate our axes. Now, it, with my machine, uh, CNC router, and I'm cutting basically wood, MDF, and plastics and different materials, um, Within 0.1 of a millimeter is fine for my purposes. Um, so I can do that with um, 
with just a vernier and a piece of wood I've actually set it up here um, and I'm, I've got a six millimeter tool here just a, 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 an end mill two flute end mill I'm coming off the edge of the material here um, and I'm going to set Mac 3 up to do this automatically so what you do you come into settings here and come down to here I think you can see that all right and um, calibrate axes and select the axes in my case I want to do the X so I press OK and then it'll ask you how far would you like to move the X axis um, in my case I think I'll do um, 10 millimeters because I think mine's way out at the moment Um, actually, no, what I'll do is I'll, I'll do 50. I'll do 50. Um, so we'll go back 50 millimeters. I think it's going to move an awful lot more than that, judging what I've seen already. So it should just move 50 millimeters. It's okay. That is an awful lot more than 50 millimeters. Uh, in actual fact, it's more than 300. So, I shall get my tape. Because you can do this a number of times to get it right if you want to. It actually moved 100, sorry, 300 and 12. So, in this dialog box, it, asks, it actually asks you, how far did your x-axis move? In our case, it was 312. Press OK. Uh, it's asking me, x-axis will be automatically changed to uh, 320.51, blah de blah de blah steps okay so now what we'll do is we'll move the x-axis back again to the same point okay we'll do the same again now and I'll ask it to move another 50 and we'll check it to see if it's right Okay, how close to 50 millimeter is that? That actually looks pretty smack on to me. I can't actually... I don't know where the camera's picking that up. That is 50 mil. as accurately as I can measure off MDF. Uh, 49.69. Um, let me just check that again. I'm going to call that 49.5, so I'm going to reset it again, 49.5, 49.5, over a bit more, and a tad more. Sorry about my head in the way of the camera there. That is pretty well smack on. I'll ask it to move over. I'll recalibrate it again. There we go. Okay. Hmm. 
Mm, 50.36. Right. Fifty point two eight. I'll do it once more, see if we can get it a little bit better. Okay, let's do this a little bit more accurate now. So we'll just uh, jog it over a little bit. Okay, um, I'm going to jog over now 10 millimeters by the automatic setup that is. That is exactly 10 millimeters. I I'm probably point. <laughs> By what I can see there, I'm point zero zero one of a millimeter eight. I am going to leave it at that. That is, as far as this machine is concerned, that is perfect. Um, in actual fact, the the accuracy of this machine is only point. Zero, zero, 0.001 of a millimeter so even if I had that I don't think I could get that any accurate that's that's it so I'm happy with that so that is how you accurately set your axes of your CNC machine I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and um, if you have please subscribe press like Pass it on to your friends, and as always, a little red box up in the top corner there, if you press that, that'll take you to my YouTube channel, where you can enjoy yourself. So, thank you very much for watching, and bye for now. <laughs>